Hey, so I'm gonna go ahead and fix this little split in the, in the veneer on this table. And I'm gonna show you how I go ahead and do this. I've done a couple videos through the years um, on this, but uh, you know, I guess you can never do enough of them, right? Because they're all a little bit different. So this one you see on this table leaf has, uh, we, we got the split and I didn't even realize, to be honest with you, that this was veneer. Um, it's, it's pine, right? So usually you think of pine as being solid wood, but not in this case. So I've got this split right here. This is a table that I actually refinished for a client uh, probably like three years ago. And we, we went out recently to pick up some, uh, some more, some, some new work from them that they want us to do. And she showed us this and, uh, you know, it doesn't have anything to do with my refinishing from before, but you know, this certainly wasn't here then. And I figured we'd just go ahead and fix it for her. So I'm going to show you how we go ahead and do it. Um, so I use these, uh, these needles, they're veterinary needles. Uh, I pick them up. Um, you can pick them up online. Amazon is a good place. Um, you know, I'll put the link um, down below. And um, another place that you can pick them up is um, Tractor Supply. If you happen to have a local tractor supply near you, um, you can get them there. And then I just go ahead and use, you know, like a tight pond premium wood glue and uh, fill the syringe up. You've got to get these in two pieces. It's the needle. It's the needle um, and then the tube. And we just go ahead and use this needle and uh, inject some glue um, in this in this split. So you just kind of want to get it, to, uh, you know, get your needle underneath and make sure that you squeeze enough glue in there. But you know, you don't also need to go uh, bonkers with it because then it's, it's just all going to squeeze out anyways and make a mess. And uh, that's not necessary, but you know, we need enough that it holds it. Now I kind of tend to push it up and you'll see it's actually splitting up a little further, but uh, that's okay. It's all going to glue down and then uh, go down this direction. And then what you got to do is you got to actually do this on both sides. So then I kind of take the needle, see how I'm pushing it this way, but then I'm going to shift, shift it over. Okay. And uh, I got to get it under this other side here. Actually, turns out the other side isn't isn't loose, so I guess I don't need to. So that's about all there is to that. I'm gonna wipe off some of the excess glue, and then I'm gonna take some wax paper. Okay, a little bit of wax paper. Just take a piece off, and I'm gonna put a piece of wax paper down. Um, but and I'm gonna use it between my wood block or my clamp, and the wood surface itself so that nothing sticks to the wood itself because when we clamp this down glue is going to squeeze out of there so i'm going to use a piece of wood okay and i'm going to i'm going to lay down some wax paper some wood on top of it and this way when some glue squeezes out it's going to just squeeze onto the wax paper itself and it won't stick all right, and then we're just going to clamp it down. So I want to go fairly tight with that. So that's pretty much all there is to it. That's how I'm going to go ahead and, and fix this crack, um, this split in the uh, in the veneer. Sometimes after you take the clamp off, there might be you know a little bit of touch up that might be necessary, and uh, you know you'll do that based basically according to your you know your situation and your skill levels and stuff. You can put a little filler in there and do a little touch up. You can just leave it go. You can put wax in there. You know, um, any number of different ways that you can go ahead and repair that depending on what, how you like to go ahead and do that.
Alright, so my clamps are off and the repair came out perfect. It's glued down really nicely. So what I'm going to try and do here is I'm going to see if I can, I got a little glue residue on here and that's kind of normal. Like what I said before, you're always going to have a little bit of glue that squeezes out, but I did it really good here because I, I don't have a lot of glue. Um, so what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to take a razor blade, see, and I'm just going to put a little tape on the end. Okay. And let's see if I can just kind of scrape this off without uh so i gotta clean this glue off okay so to for a for a filler since this is a a free job basically i'm not getting paid to do this i'm just going to add a little bit of wax stick in here <laughs> as a uh, an indicator of how often I use wax sticks uh, look at how old this thing is uh, if you know anything about mohawk and stuff like this this is probably uh, this part of this labeling is probably 25 years old I just don't use these but every once in a while every once in a while and then we're going to take uh, a little bit of uh, water Okay, so that'll act that be my filler right there. And then for the very last thing I'm going to do is use a little pumice stone. Okay, a little 4F pumice stone. Going old school. But uh, just put a little pumice on there. And we're going to rub that out. Now, why am I doing this? I'm doing this because the pumice um, will dull this finish down for me a little bit. Um, if I don't use something like pumice and I rub it out with steel wool, it's going to be a little bit too, I'm going to get a glossy spot right there. And it's going to be a little shiny because this is kind of a, a flat finish. So the pumice will dull this down for me. And you really won't see my repair that way. Pumice is one of those products that used to get used in refinishing shops all the time and now I don't even know that people even know what pumice is anymore. I know, but I don't really use it much anymore. Okay, and then we're going to go with 4 steel wool, just dry. Okay, and that's a wrap for that repair. You know, it's not absolutely perfect, but again, like I said, it's a freebie, so I mean, I don't need to knock this one out of the ballpark. Um, most importantly for me anyway is that, you know, it's, it's repaired. There's no more, you know, there's no more loose veneer right there. The seam is all gone, and the sheen is the same, and that was kind of where we came in with the pumice stone and rubbing it out, because so we've got this sort of matte sheen here, and I didn't want to get a, create a shiny spot right here, um, you know, by rubbing it out and stuff. So got rid of that. I'm happy with it. The customer's going to be pleased that it's, uh, you know, it's all fixed, and uh, so we're going to call this job all done. I'm Rod Kaiser. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next video.